Hi, good day everyone. I'm Inche Sri. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing great. Today, I want to share all about three dimensional shapes. Before that, make sure that you have your mathematics textbook, a notebook, and some stationery with you. Today, we also have Puan Sharmila Nair from SKPK Jalan Pil as our sign language interpreter. First of all, let's take a look at the objective that you are going to learn today. And the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify 3D shapes based on the descriptions. Next, you will be able to identify the basic of 3D shapes. Then you will learn how to identify various nets of 3D shapes. Before we start our lesson, would you like to sing a song with me? I'm sure you would love to, right? Let's sing the shape songs. The song is in your textbook on page 77. Let us learn the 3D shape, 3D shapes, 3D shapes, cuboid, cube and pyramid, cone and cylinder too. Let us learn the 3D shapes, 3D shapes, 3D shapes, cuboid, cube and pyramid, cone and cylinder too. 12 sides lengths are all the same 6 faces sizes all the same We can see the E's in dice A cube we call its name 12 sides lengths are all the same 6 faces sizes all the same We can see the E's in dice A cube we call its name a cuboid has a different shape Six phases sizes not the same Has square and also rectangle Has twelve sides too A cuboid has a different shape Six phases sizes not the same Has square and also rectangle Has twelve sides too How was the song? Interesting, isn't it? I hope you have enjoyed it very much. Let's continue our lesson now. Can you identify these objects? Yes, easy right? The first object is a gift box. The next one is a chalk box, followed by a dice. And lastly, some ice cubes. Now, can you guess the similarity of these objects? Yes, correct. All the objects are in the same 3D shapes. This shape is called a cube. Let's see the component of a cube. A cube has a face, an edge, and vertex. This is the basic shape of a cube. When you look at this picture, the cube has six flat square faces. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Well done! Do you still remember which one is the age of the cube? 
Yes, correct. A cube has 12 straight edges. The length of each edge of the cube is the same. Let us check one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and lastly twelve. So it is proven that the cube has 12 edges all together. Next, we proceed to vertices of the cube. Can you guess the number of vertices of this cube? Let's count them together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Very good. The cube has 8 vertices. Let's recall the component of the cube. In conclusion, the cube has 6 phases, 12 edges and 8 vertices. Now, let's look at these pictures. The first object is a mesh box. The second picture is a toy brick. The third one is a biscuit box. And finally, the last picture is a book. Can you find any similarity in these pictures? Very good! These objects share the same 3D shape. It is called a cuboid. Come on now! Let's see the components of the cuboid. The cuboid has six flat rectangular faces. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes, well done. The total is six. What we can conclude here is the basic shape of the cuboid is a rectangle. Next, let's proceed with the vertices of the cuboid. In total, there are eight vertices in cuboid. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight. Bravo! The next component of the cuboid is age. The total ages of the cuboid are 12. Yes, correct. The total ages of the cuboid and cube are the same. Let's count them one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and lastly. 12. Very good. Let's look at the next 3D shape. That is pyramid. A pyramid 
has four triangular faces and a cube face. A pyramid has five vertices. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five vertices. Now, let's proceed with the edges of the pyramid. The pyramid has eight straight edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These are the examples of objects that represent the pyramid shape. The first picture shows a puzzle cube. Next is a grater and the third picture is a tent. I am sure you have seen these pictures in your daily life. The next 3D shape that I want to introduce is the cone. What is the first thing you can imagine if I say cone? Yes, correct. Our favorite ice cream. The cone has one vertex, one curve face, and one flat face. The flat face of the cone is round. There is no edge for cones. This is the basic shape of a cone. Can you name these objects? Well done! The first picture shows a traffic cone followed by an ice cream cone. Funnel, party hat and the last picture is a Christmas tree. These pictures resemble the same 3D shape cone. Another 3D shape that I want to share is cylinder. It has two flat face and one curved face. Do you want to see the basic shape of the cylinder? Yes, this is the basic shape of the cylinder. The cylinder does not have any edges and vertex. These are some examples of things that we can find in the shape of cylinder. These pictures are batteries, can, mug, candles, chalks, and locks. Next, we are going to identify various nets of 3D shapes of cube. This diagram shows an unfolded arrangement for the cube. When we fold it orderly, 
we can get a perfect cube. Now, let me show you a few types of nets that can be transformed into a cube. Let's take a look at the first example. Are you ready? Yes. This is the first model that I want to show you. It has six flat same square faces. Watch properly how I'm going to fold this to make a cube. One, two, three, four and five. It's a perfect cube. It's easy, right? Let's look at the second model now. We try to fold it, fold this net. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It's a perfect cube too. Let me show you another one. Okay, let's try to fold it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, oh, we cannot get a perfect cube. So, this net cannot form a cube. These are the cubes from the nets that we have folded. You can see that we have only two perfect cubes. This picture shows a few examples of cube net. You can try to make a cube using a piece of paper too. Now, let me show you a few types of nets that can be folded into a cuboid. Look at this model. Yes, can you see this unfolded model? It has six flat rectangular faces. Watch properly how I'm going to fold this to make a cuboid. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, we got it. This picture shows two examples of cuboid nets. It's interesting, right? Don't forget to try. Let's look at this third model now. Let's try to fold this net. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, we got a beautiful pyramid. Here are two examples of pyramids and its nets respectively. It's time to test our understanding. Can you complete this table? Okay, I'm going to give you 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time's up.
it's time to check the answers. The queue has 6 phases, 12 ages and 8 vertices. Cue boy has 6 phases, 12 ages and 8 vertices too. Well done! Let's do another exercise. Again, I will give you another 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Can we check the answer now? Okay, come on. The pyramid has 5 faces, 8 edges and 5 vertices. The cone has 2 faces, 1 vertex and 0 edges. The last one is a cylinder. It has three faces, zero edges and zero vertex. Good job! Let's identify the 3D shape in the picture here. Look at these pictures. Can you identify the 3D shape in each? Alright. Number 1 is a cuboid. Number 2 is a pyramid. Number 3 is a cylinder. Number 4 is a cube. Number 5 is a cone. And finally, number 6 is a cuboid. Bravo! You have done it! Today, we have learned to identify 3D shapes based on descriptions. Second, identify basic shape of 3D shapes. And the third one, identify various nets of 3D shapes. Thank you for joining me today. Hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.